guys welcome back I thought I'd come on real quick and just show you something that I've been using to help keep my kids entertained um, you might have heard of something called busy boxes or busy bags which I love the concept of that I just was having a hard time finding a place to store them and I thought it was just a little bit difficult to take them to and from places. So instead, I basically have the same concept, but in this folder. I like using the folder because I can easily just take it with me wherever I go, whether it's at a doctor's office or out to eat or in the car or while I'm making dinner, I can quickly grab this out. Um, if we're playing downstairs, I can bring it downstairs. If we're playing upstairs, I can have it upstairs. So it's just a lot easier for me to take to and from. So I'm gonna show you what I have inside. This was really inexpensive to create. I bought the folder at Walmart for about 64 cents. I bought these clear page protectors, again at Walmart for I believe 94 cents. And I bought these dry erase markers at Walmart. They came two in a pack for, again, they were under a dollar. So um, it really didn't cost a lot to put this together, but it's really working out really well. So I'm gonna show you what I have inside of the page protectors. The first one just has all of our dry erase markers, and I'm so sorry about my dog, you guys. She is just going nutso outside. Um, and then we have in this pocket, I like to keep a few different activities for the kids to do. And so this month, because I have a daycare, I do a monthly theme. So a lot of these activities are based on that monthly theme, which is Dr. Seuss. So um, I have these little images that I cut out and I just put punched holes all around them and I put some yarn in here. So that way the kids can use these as lacing cards. Now the images and the worksheets that you see in my folder actually come from a website called 123learncurriculum.com. Um, it was $30 for the year's worth of monthly themes and activities and I mean just so many different things. So I have all of these pages that you'll see I printed off of that website. I'll link it below if you're interested. But you could easily go on to Pinterest and find different images, cut out the images, and then just punch holes around the images. The kids really love to um, you know, use them as lacing cards and it's a fun activity. It also helps with the fine motor skills and that sort of thing. So that's one activity I have in there. In this page protector, I have um, some puzzles. So again, it was just a big image. I just cut it up and I have a few different ones in here. So if we're sitting at the table or if I'm making lunch or dinner, I can just take these out and the kids can work on this. Um, this is a tic-tac-toe Dr. Seuss. So this is kind of for the older kids. And I just take this whole sheet out, which again, it's in a page protector. So that's where the dry erase markers come in. I can give the kids a dry erase marker and they can play tic-tac-toe as many times as they want. It just wipes right off. And I don't have to continually print pages off. So that works out really well. And then the rest of this are just um, different activities and worksheets and that sort of thing. Again, same concept. They just use their dry erase markers on here. And it just is a really great way to entertain the kids. It keeps them busy. It's great, like I said, for doctor's offices or for uh, car rides or when you're trying to make dinner. I know that's a really difficult time for me anyways. And so sometimes I'll just take this out and give the kids a few different worksheets. And then once they're done with one worksheet, they can switch with somebody else. And it really does keep them entertained. So this is a great way to kind of have those busy bag and busy boxes, um, but it's just all corralled in this folder. And I can take it wherever I need to go really easily, but there are a lot of different activities in here to keep them busy. So if you have little kids, you can definitely try this out. It doesn't cost a lot of money. And I will leave that link below to the website that I did get these from. But like I said, go on Pinterest or Google and search for images or worksheets that are age appropriate for you and your kid, for your kids and that you think would work out and put together a little busy work folder. You will not regret it. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope that you have a great day and I hope to see you soon.